What's up guys? It's Jared Myers and today I'm going to teach you how I made some sweet scarecrow gloves and ooh, it's going to be fun. So stick with me and let's roll that beginning clip right now. Hey, welcome back. See my new sweet new shirt that I just made? Boom! Made it while that whole intro was happening. All right, so we're gonna make some scarecrow gloves. I'm gonna make it as quick as possible, try to talk to you about it as fast as possible. So that way you're not bored. Let's get started. All right, so what do you need for supplies, right? First thing you're gonna need is two bottles of your favorite drink, glass preferred. And you're gonna need some rice, uncooked in the raw. Empty the bottles, dry them out, and then you're gonna go ahead and pour in the rice. How do you get them in the bottles, right? So you just take a piece of paper, you roll it up, you stick it in the top, and you pour the rice in. That's it. Now that you got the first one, don't forget the second one. We'll build the second one right now. All right, you know what? I need some coffee. I'll be right back. Come all the way to the top so they're full. Okay, so now you're going to need a pair of dark colored gloves, just cotton. You don't want latex or any kind of rubber, you just want cotton gloves, okay? So brown, black, something like that. All right, so you're gonna take those cotton gloves and you're gonna go ahead and put them on top of the bottles like this. Next, you're gonna need a thick rubber band. You're gonna put it around the wrist and around the bottle to hold the glove to the bottom. So something like this. Once you get the rubber band around the bottle, you're gonna go ahead and turn the bottle over and you're gonna let the rice fill up each finger. Make sure you get it in each finger. That's gonna give your gloves some volume. So that way when you wrap it with the uh, with your burlap, it will stay in the size of a human hand instead of just scrumpling up into absolutely nothing. It'll end up being flat and it'll be very difficult to get your hands in. So this is the acting as a filler for your hands while you're making it. I'm gonna leave you guys with a couple quick clips and I'm gonna go get some coffee because this one coffee break out. <laughs> So that makes sense? Okay, we're gonna move on from there. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, you're going to need some Dynaflex 230, a flexible kind of yeah, silicone coffee. This is gonna keep your glove flexible after it dries, but it's also gonna give it some rigidity so that way your glove uh, you know, doesn't collapse. Ready? Let's go ahead and start with how are we going to cut the burlap up to make it work great for the gloves in the hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. You're gonna need some scissors. Cut those into thin strips, about half inch by three inches long, or half inch and two inches long. And then you're also gonna cut some triangle shapes. I like to get a good variation because finger sizes are different, hand sizes are different, palm size, wrist. Just keep it all in mind as you're cutting pieces. Here's all the pieces that I cut. Now that you've got all the pieces cut, applying it to the gloves themselves. You're gonna need something to protect your hands from the silicone, so get some gloves. I love these sweet green ones. Actually, they're all I had, so that's what I use. So we're gonna apply a coat to the back of the hands. As you can see here, I like to break the hand down into different parts and apply sections at a time. So first I'll start with the back of the hands, front, I'll do the thumbs, and then I'll do the fingers. Keep the scissors handy because you never know when you might need them. So just kind of trim a piece up a little bit, maybe cut a piece in half. Um, you always, you're always going to have to make adjustments as you go. So just have them right there next to you so that way if you need them, you got them. Now with the fingers, after you get them stuck good on one side, you're going to flip the gloves over and you're gonna go ahead and wrap the remainders around, and then you're gonna add some more. Now, something that I started doing, before it dries, I like to paint the fingers black, okay? Painting the fingers black seems to make sense to me because if you ever wear a pair of gloves or, or if you use your hands at all, if you're outside in the dirt and stuff, what gets dirty first? Your fingertips. So I like to make the fingers black and dirty. It gives it a sense of realism that makes sense to me. That's 
way. But for you, do what you want. Paint the gloves. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some paint and we're gonna put it on with one of those foam brushes. You can use any kind of brush if you want. I just had a foam one and that's what I use. I like to take the paint, I use a cup, and then what I'll do is I'll put some paint in, I'll add some water, I'll water it down a little bit, so then we have a nice wash. I can use that wash to go over the fingertips to make them look black. In this case, my cup didn't work because I didn't have enough paint left, so I just cut off the end of the acrylic paint tube, I just poured some water in the top, and I used that as a container. Once you're done painting, they need to dry. So you're gonna have to let them sit for a few days. It's best so that way air reaches all the way around them. So I just put mine up on crap pieces of wood that I had to make sure air surrounded the whole thing. The rice also helps the drying process. Little tip and trick, that's why I use rice, because it'll help draw moisture and dry things quicker. Boom. Something I came up with. And now that it's dry, what I did because my theme was magic. I went ahead and stuck a spade on the hands right here and right here. It, it makes sense. So if you want to do that, just cut a template for yourself. I happen to have the card, so I use that. And then go ahead and take some 320 Diamond Flex Black. And go ahead and put that in the opening of the card down a little bit, remove the card, and there you go. And now you usually go back in and kind of touch up the texture and the surface inside that area just to make it look cool. Alright, coffee break. Gloves should look something like this. how I made some scarecrow gloves and with a magic theme. I really appreciate that you came and listened and I hope you got a lot from it. I hope you got some tips, some tricks that might work for you depending on what your costume or what you're making. I'm gonna make more videos with different ways to make different things. I want to thank you guys for coming and watching and hope you got something from it. If you have any questions down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. The bell is important because when I make more videos you will get a notification. So that way you know when it comes out. So please, like, subscribe, comment. And if you don't, that's okay. But I hope you get out there and you make some of your own scarecrow gloves, you make some of your own costumes. And if you do, I'd love to see them. So until next time, coffee break.